Keith Juice, not community reporter. Five to twelve. Hamilton Square. Birkenhead. Just staking out the gap. We are here. I'm racing fair. I'm here today at the Revolution TTA event in support of Roger Hayes, a very good friend of mine. It's fantastic that all these people have turned out today. I'm delighted and I'm humbled by that. I'm here today with uh, Andy, who's Red Leader on the Freedom Rebel site, he's my sidekick, and the uh, venerable Norman Hinks, who runs normanhinks.com. So, a big thank you to everyone that's come today. Fantastic support from Roger, and this is the kind of thing we need to do absolutely regularly. Not just once or twice, we need to come together as a group of people, as a nation of people, as a nation of free people in this country and say enough is enough, we're not tolerating this rubbish anymore and we're going to show these people that now is the time to do that. What do you think, Paul? Absolutely. Totally. It's about time. Perfect. Perfectly said. So again, well done. Thanks for everyone for coming. <laughs> we'll see you later. Hey, keep it coming. their oath and so what we're going to do today in this case is if they refuse to produce their oath we're going to attempt to create a grand jury an indictment and indict the judges for treason and arrest them Roger Hayes and we're going to do that under article 61 of the Magna Carta which is still law in force in this country so we have the lawful right to do this okay so these great people have come down many come from all parts of the country Scotland Wales the south the east seek to oppress us by squeezing every last penny they can out of us. That is not is what the law is for. We're not a lawless people. We want to impress that. We need the law, but it must be common law. It must be common sense. But you can see the strength of the, yeah, the, the, the sentiment about this. Say, it's about, 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 about 300 turned up. Yeah. Is it lawful rebellion? It's lawful rebellion. It's lawful. Which we're entitled to under Article 61 of the Magna Carta. They can't argue with that, yeah. although they try. And they, seem, they just want to railroad us and ignore us and oppress us financially, and it's got to stop. It's got to stop. This country's had enough, the people have had enough. You can tell. Look at this. Okay. So, right. Right, ladies and gentlemen, can I have the 12 smartly dressed individuals up first, please? So, if, you, if you're one of the 12, can you come and stand behind me so I can know who you are? Hello. We're standing beside. Sorry? We're standing beside. One day. Apparently, I've been. We're with the crew. Good man. Back on the road we go. Sorry. 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 contempt of court and for treason. The police should do their job. Yes, yes, yes. What's your name? Sorry. Uh, I'm Roger. 
Roger the Hayes family. Ah, oh, right. Okay. We've arrested a judge today for treason and for contempt of court. We've asked the police to they do their job and, and, and arrest the judge also. Take the police attention. have failed to do so. We are going to the police station now to lodge a complaint against the police and the judge. Thanks very Can much. Can I come with you? Yeah. You may. Absolutely. Love. Well, there was a perversion of, of, uh, of, the, of the rule of law. Um, none of my evidence was allowed, and the council were allowed to submit uh, fraudulent documentation. Are you representing yourself in court? Yes, I am. Yeah. You are. And we're going to the police station now to talk to a senior officer to lay a complaint that, that we have followed the process lawfully, we arrested the judge, and we have called on the police to assist us with that arrest. But of course, the police have completely reacted the wrong way and arrested the people who were lawfully arresting the judge. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to see the chief constable about this event with the court. A, a judge has been arrested for treason. The the situation is today we arrested a judge in court for contempt of court for treason. Uh, we then asked the, the police constables there to arrest the judge. Uh, the police don't understand the law anymore and they just overreact and do all the wrong thing. The judge would not go on his oath of office. We asked him, I asked him three times. He refused to do so. That is treason. Uh, he knew what he was doing and he refused to put back in front of the police officers as well. What the police officers should have done is they should have correctly arrested the judge and, 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 and it should, should be going down a procedure now. Clearly what's happened is that the, the police have overreacted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a complaint with the, uh, the Chief Constable. Uh, I, it looks like I have to go to Liverpool um, and you probably realise there's about 300 supporters here today who are here for a, um, a, for a rally. I'm one of them. Uh, obviously in, in, in terms of lawful rebellion because this is not the first time this happened. This is happening in courts all over the, of the country. Um, I will be doing a, a full release sometime uh, in the next few days to, to, to bring people up to date with exactly what the situation is about uh, and clearly that the, the, the fact that uh, we've got judges in our court co committing uh, treason and are constantly in contempt of court, we need to do something about it and this is the first of, of what we believe is going to be many uh, cases of, of judges being arrested in court. Sure. I will, I will appear in front of a court, in front of a judge, when, when they are on the oath of office because that's the only way we're going to get justice in this country. We have to have common law courts back. We've now got a series of administrative courts. These are not uh, uh, courts of justice. These are administrative process and, and, and clearly it's unlawful. Sure. Hello. Um, I want to lay in information before a magistrate from the arrest warrant. And I want to do it straight away. You want to... I want to lay in the information before a magistrate for an arrest warrant, well this gentleman does, and do it straight away. Who is it for, sorry? It's for the Chief Constable of Merseyside. And it... And uh, we're going to keep going and going and going and going until we actually are successful. Three times, I then went out and the diplomatic case about the, the mistake. So the bottom line is that we've got judges who are breaking the law in our own courts. So um, the message to judges is get on your own to office, stop converting the courts of justice and get behind the people because we have had enough. You attempted to arrest him. We did arrest the judge. Um, that's a civil arrest, and uh, 
I called on people to assist me in that process, and uh, law-abiding citizens did that. They arrested the judge, they detained him in the courtroom. We then called on the police, who actually witnessed the event, to assist in the process. The, le the police, once again, who do not know the law, reacted the in completely the wrong way and arrested the lawful people who were arresting the judge. Um, and that's why I've put down a complaint um, uh, that the chief constable will be arrested tomorrow because he's yeah, responsible for all his subordinates. Okay? So the, the, the situation is that we, have, we now have lawful people who are in the prison cells. This is a police state. We have got to stop this nonsense now. Okay? But surely people would say that the courts are there to do justice to, to, to allow us to move forward. In accordance with the law. In accordance with the law. And I can't emphasise enough. We are law-abiding citizens and we expect our judges to uphold the law. And the judges are not doing so. They are breaking the law. And the, I can't make m right. more than that the fact. The bottom line is that they are breaking the law and they need to start realising that we've, we've had It's not the gross prejudice. Oh, what do you expect to happen tomorrow morning vote. in the magistrates' court? We expect the police to do their jobs. We expect them to acknowledge that, that we are behaving system. lawfully and we have asked the police to, to get on side with the people. We're asking the court officials to get on wrong side with the people. We're asking the good judges. We know there's good judges out there. There's one or two corrupt judges and we want those, those corrupt judges closed down. Anything else you'd like to know? Grand jury. Absolutely fine. Thank, Thank you, sir. Grand jury. And long last, I'm pleased the BBC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Send it back. Sorry. Excuse me. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>